think about prebiotics and probiotics for our gut. But there's another incredibly important category of compounds that are called polyphenols, which are all the colorful plant compounds you see and that make your vegetables and fruit the colors they are. And those are medicines. And those seem to be fertilizers for the good bugs. There's an important compound that healthy bacteria make in your gut called butyrate. And butyrate has many effects on the body. It's anti-inflammatory, it keeps your gut lining healthy, it's the fuel for the gut, colonicize, but it also suppresses P53 oncogene, which is essentially a cancer-promoting gene, which is why dietary fiber reduces colon cancer and many other cancers. I want to unpack something you just said to bring a little bit of clarity to the audience. An oncogene is a gene, which is made of our DNA, that's associated with causing cancer. It turns out that P53 is one of those oncogenes, but it turns out that P53 the way that it was we're born to have p53 normal p53 is protective against cancer it's only when p53 is mutated that it actually sets up for cancers what we want to do is prevent those mutations that can occur yeah. and this is the real purpose of this antioxidants so antioxidants are neutralized these harmful activated atoms that are in our environment that we eat sometimes with ultra processed foods polyphenol can have antioxidant properties. They also activate all of these other protective aspects of our body so that we are more resistant against diseases, including cancer.